Good morning. Welcome back to In The Midst. So today I thought I would just do this, try it out, see what happens, um, what y'all's opinion is on it. If it's a help, great, um, but you never know till you try. So here we go. So this morning I'm in my kitchen and I did this yesterday and it turned out so good. So I thought that I would come here, show you guys how to make it, um, and just share what I did. So I made cold brew chicory coffee. There will be a link for chicory coffee in the comments um, or the description, whatever. So my mother-in-law bought me this yesterday. It's a cold brew system. She found this at Aldi, which means it was probably very affordable. Um, there was different colors. There, this one's light blue. I think she said there was like a white or a beige, dark blue, black, and red. And so she just picked the light blue and brought it to me. So what we're gonna do, I have another lid for this somewhere. Here it is, hang on. Okay, so it also came with this lid, which has a mesh filter in here. So what we're gonna do, I did this about um, eight o'clock last night, so about 12 hours, 12 and a half. Um, cold brew should steep anywhere from 12 to 24. So if, you've, if you're a coffee drinker, then this is definitely for you. If you've never had or made cold brew, I got you. So, um, if you've never had it before, I would suggest maybe going to like Duncan and getting a cold brew coffee, like a small, to try it. See so if you like it. It's really just cold. Like it's not that big of a deal. You still have all the coffee taste. My dishwasher's running. You still have all the coffee taste, and you still have all the caffeine. It's just cold. Um, at Duncan, I get the Charlie cold brew. It's caramel flavored. Um, that's just what I like. So that's what I get. So today. We're gonna try this. So this is the mesh filter. So this whole thing is mesh and it sits inside. So what this does is it catches all those coffee grounds. <clears throat> so I don't know what coffee I put in here. My mother-in-law had gotten some. Um, she is a tea drinker. She's not a coffee drinker at all. And it was a small, like one ounce maybe, um, bag of whole bean coffee. So if you have or get given whole bean coffee, you can actually put that in your blender and grind it up. So that's what I did. Um, so all that's left in here now is coffee. There's um, no grounds. And if there are, that's okay. Ooh, don't break it. Because this is gonna catch it. So this has a little pour spout right here. So we're gonna put this in to catch any grounds that may be in there. Cause it's kind of dark, you can't really see. I just want mine things to sit evenly so okay so there's that super easy to make 12 to 24 hours is what it needs to sit in the fridge so I normally drink hot coffee every morning because I make chicory coffee what is that so I'm gonna set this aside for a second and we're gonna do a couple things so it's a little time-consuming but if you like it it works I'm gonna take just a regular coffee cup I have a Keurig so I'm gonna put that in there and I start with this chicory coffee. So this is the Nutri Plus brand. There's going to be a link for that. You can only buy this online. Um, this is 60% chicory, 40% instant coffee. And there's, I think, 60 milligrams of caffeine. So if you're more caffeine sensitive, this is going to be less caffeine than traditional coffee. This is instant coffee, which means you can make this by itself or you can add it to the coffee that you already enjoy. And that's what we're going to do. Today, we're going to add this to our cold brew to make cold brew chicory coffee. Benefits of chicory. It is a natural um, root. It's a chicory root. Um, it has lots of properties. So, some people are experiencing appetite suppressant. So, now they're not eating maybe breakfast or lunch. They eat later. They're not snacking all day. It's a natural energy source. It's not a bunch of sugar and caffeine and now you're going to crash in a couple hours. It's not what it does. Um, Anti-inflammation. It helps with pain and inflammation and things like that. So some of you know that I have fibromyalgia, which is a nerve disorder, which means everything kind of hurts just because it wants to and there's no reason. Most of the time it is my hands that hurt, like right now. Um, this helps. Some days it does completely, I don't take pain medicine, I don't take NSAIDs, I don't take anything um, for my fibro during the day. The only thing I take is I take one 7.5 milligram meloxicam at night if I need it because not that it's 
it's not a pain medicine like what you're thinking. It doesn't, you know, make me tired and all that. It just helps my hands not to hurt um, as much because my hands hurt worse at night. So during the day, we are medication free. This keeps my pain under control. My joints don't hurt as bad. Um, some days my hands don't hurt at all, but maybe something else does. My knees kind of hurt a lot, my feet, stuff like that. Um, so some days, some areas have no pain and some days all of it is just manageable. It's not as bad, but if I go about two days without drinking this, I notice. And I notice I am hurting more even though nothing else has changed. I notice. So that for me is why I drink this. So. On the back, you do have um, instructions right here. This is two teaspoons. I leave my little teaspoon in here. So we're just gonna do two since it's instant, right in the cup. Um, I don't feel like it has that weird instant coffee smell. Um, nutrition wise, this is two grams of carbs. Um, 10 milligrams of calcium, 0.6 milligrams of iron, and 90 milligrams of potassium. So there are a few little trace minerals and stuff in there, and that's okay. And now I'm gonna take my collagen. This is also a NutriPlus item. This scoop will give you 10 milligrams. I do half a scoop, and we're gonna put that right in the coffee. This is unflavored. So it's gonna mix with anything. You wanna put in your yogurt, smoothies, coffee, go for it. Um, oatmeal, lots of things. So let's look at the um, stuff on this. One whole scoop is 40 calories, 10 grams of protein. A lot of your collagen doesn't have protein in it. Um, 80 milligrams of vitamin C, which is gonna help your immune system. It's gonna help absorption. 65 milligrams of sodium, 1,000 milligrams of hydrolyzed bovine collagen, types one and three and 50 milligrams of hyaluronic acid. So that hyaluronic acid is also really good for your skin, your hair. Collagen is no longer just a woman's hair, skin, and nail supplement. This is good for your teeth, your bones, your joints, your gut health, so many things. Um, so this is for everybody. Um, this says it helps support skin firmness, elasticity, collagen production. Ours is non-GMO, soy-free, dairy-free, heavy metal-free, gluten-free, no artificial colors, flavors, no sugar, no sweetener, unflavored, no preservatives. So, it's a really good collagen source. So, that will also be linked in the comments. So, I have just mixed, just drop both those in there together, no big deal. On my Keurig, we're just running water through it because we just want to get it hot. So, I use, mine has four settings. I use the smallest. I think it's a four, maybe six ounce teacup. Um, that's the one I use. So we're gonna get that. Um, and I'm gonna put that in here first and some ice and syrup and stuff. And we're gonna make cold brew coffee. So if you are a coffee lover, especially since it's so hot, some of you don't drink coffee, you know, first thing in the morning, you don't want hot coffee first thing in the morning. Maybe you don't drink hot coffee at all. This is so much better than going to Dunkin' every day and paying, you know, four or five dollars for that cold brew or Starbucks, whatever. So that is done. I'm gonna turn the Keurig back off. This all dissolves super easy, super fast. So I'm just gonna stir it with a spoon. It looks dark, so I haven't put anything in there. Let's see if I can, nope, I'm gonna spill it. Um, so we're just gonna mix it. It's done just that fast. Um, we're gonna pour that in here. I'm using a clear glass because I want you guys to see it. Um, so we're about half a cup. We're gonna get a little bit of ice. A little bit of ice. So my proportions are gonna be a little off. If you use a bigger cup, works a little better, but my bigger mason jar that I normally use is in the dishwasher right now. So we're improvising, okay? You guys know that this channel is not about perfection and all of that. This is just real life. And sometimes you just, things are the dishwasher because you forgot to run it last night and that's okay. Run it in the morning, it happens, it's not a big deal. Um, so today's flavor is salted caramel mocha. My wonderful mother-in-law um, bought me my cold brew system, but she always buys me these skinny syrups. So you can get these at, you can get them online at jordanskinnysyrups.com. They are $7.99 a bottle. 
or she goes to Burke's, TJ Maxx, um, Home Goods, Tuesday morning. Might be it. And she finds these. This one was $3.99. These are so much bigger. This is 25.4 ounces. So you've probably seen the Torini brand. They're about this big at Walmart for like four, five, six bucks. This is $3.99, twice the size. And they have a lot more flavors. So I use these because they are sugar free, carb free, calorie free, all that. Um, it does use, I don't know what this uses to sweeten it. I don't know. Some of them are like keto friendly so whatever the sweeteners were like technically supposed to be able to have on keto it has those mct oil all that fun stuff um sometimes i use those sometimes i just it's carbs and calories carbs is what i really count so i just put this in till it looks good i don't measure much of anything in my life um if you feel like oh there's a chemical taste there's an aftertaste and you've used too much you can also go on amazon and buy the cool little pumpers because they have like coffee shops and put in here and it'll squirt it out and most people do like two to three, depending on how big their cup is, and that's enough. So that is an easy way to measure it. Remember, oh, two squirts, and that's it. You know, something like that. I'll try to find those and link those down to Lots of links today. So here comes the fun part. We are going to, I'm going to use the same cup. And this is just regular half and half. We're going to put a little bit in there. And we're going to froth it. So you can buy a bottle of like whipped topping um, to put on top of this. If you want to be fancy, you can buy the actual cold brew cold foam to put on top of this. Um, life is expensive right now, so we ain't doing that. You don't get much out of those bottles. Every now and again, I will buy um, just regular store brand whipped topping in a can and just skirt it on there for the iced coffee. I really do like it. But the cold brew, cold foam is more expensive and you don't get as, you know, you don't get a lot of cups out of it. So if you take half and half, which I always have half and half, I don't use regular creamer, I only use half and half. Sometimes I will use heavy whipping cream. Um, if you go to the store and if you find light cream, that is the cream that Starbucks and Dunkin use when you say I only want cream instead of milk or whatever um so it's a little bit closer to theirs i really don't notice the difference between that and the half and half um so you want to make sure you froth this yesterday i didn't froth it very well only got the bottom which is fine um we just want a little layer of the foam on top and then this is going to be the half and half that's going to seep down into my cup so this takes a few minutes if you have a handheld mixer you can put um one like beater in the cup and it'll do this pretty quickly and my battery is almost dead so told you we're not perfect over here this is life if you have not had a chance to check out my other videos there's lots of we're it's pretty much a bible study it's what we're doing we are looking at god's word and you will see that those videos also are not perfect and that is by design i don't edit my videos i don't do anything because Nobody wants a life that appears to be perfect, that doesn't resonate with us, right? So, I have my chicory coffee in here. We are just going to pour, I'm trying not to drop this, some of that cold brew in here. And this, I mean, is, I don't know how many ounces this is, but it's pretty big. And so, you will have to, you will be able to drink on it all day. You won't have to make it every night, you know, if you only want one or two cups a day, whatever. I really need to use a bigger glass because my proportions are off. But it's cold for coffee. How bad can it be? And then I have my cinnamon combo here. My cinnamon to put on top. So we've got our chicory coffee, some ice, and the cold brew, and the syrup to flavor it. So we are going to just pour this right on top. It's getting down in there a little bit. It's sitting on top pretty nicely. If you don't care about the foam sitting on the top and you want to make sure it's down in your drink more, um, you can just get a straw and start a little bit and now it's going in there. So now our color is changing a little bit. Um, we're going to put just a little bit more of this on top. And 
we're gonna take our cinnamon. Sorry, you guys can't see. And just put that right on top. And that is it. So super easy, make it at home, not paying $5 a cup, cold brew coffee. Um, you can take any ground coffee and make cold brew with it. Things that are ground up a little more coarse work better, but doesn't have to be. Um, you just don't want it to be able to get through this, which is pretty small mesh. But even to run my finger on the outside, there's a little bit there. Um, so that's why that extra strainer is in the top of this to catch anything that this might have let go. Um, I'll see if I can find something for this cold brew system and link it. I don't get paid for the skinny syrups to cold brew system. Um, so I can put those in the comments. Um, if you buy the collagen or the coffee, that is an affiliate link and I do get a little bit of a commission from that. Um, and yeah, that's it. So, you know, it's better than spending the gas and we're not paying, you know, four or $5 for a cup of cold brew. We've got coffee at home with some vitamins and stuff in it, collagen in it. It's actually good for our bodies and it's gonna give us that energy that's not just a caffeine and a sugar crash. Um, and that is it. So I will have links in the comments. I hope this was a help to you. You can do this at home. Um, if you want more videos like this, please say that in the comments. Um, as always, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. That really helps me. Um, but if there's something that maybe you want to know how to make, or how do I do this, or what do we do, you know, in life or whatever, um, let me know. And I will be happy to share that if I have the answers. Um, and that is it. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for tuning in, making coffee with me, and I will see you guys later.